Another great comedian coming to stage. Uh, there's a theme tonight, uh, white guys. Um, <laughs> And me. Uh, fantastic. Well, I love this guy. He's one of our favorites. We love performing with him. Please welcome to the stage Matt Rittberg, everybody. Mix <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just needed a little iced tea tonight. I hope you guys don't mind. Don't you feel like sometimes you come here and you're like, oh, is this a competition for world's biggest degenerate? I'll take a shot at it. <laughs> I will. I, uh... I wake up every, every weekend day the same way. It's like I spend an hour just like this, like, oh, so stupid. <laughs> <sighs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> so stupid. I can't believe I went home with that slob. <laughs> just for like an hour, just like that, so stupid, so stupid. Was, she even, was it even a girl? <laughs> so stupid, just for like an hour. And then finally she gets the hit and leaves. <laughs> Yes, I hate myself, my friends. I do. I can tell I'm not alone, though. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, no, I've been drinking a lot, though. The thing is, I, I used to have this big problem where I'd wake up with all kinds of scrapes and bruises. Yeah, not anymore. No, no, I've moved up in the world. I wake up now with fractures and ligament tears. That is an embarrassing trip to the doctor, you know? He's like, wow, that is a doozy. What happened? You fall off your motorcycle? I'm like, what, you've never heard of recycling bin hurdles? It's where you jump over recycling bins filled with broken bottles. Yeah, it's, it's catching on. So, um, yeah, there's that. And that actually trickles into my work life, believe it or not. Yeah, it does, it does. Not, not this work life, I have an office job. Um, but the older generation, I don't get along with them very well. I don't, I don't relate very well. To, they just don't get our desire to do nothing. You know, it's like... Get the fuck out of here, okay? Get out of my fucking office, okay? I think, I actually think these older, like, people that I work for are kind of scared of me because they, they say stuff like, do you mind editing these documents? <laughs> you know? I, I, I think I have intimidated them with my complete insanity and depravity, you know? They're just like, oh, where have you been all week? I'm like, I fucking got drunk on Monday and today's Thursday. It's a big hangover. It takes a couple days. Check in with me again next Monday. No, but the thing is that my boss and I, we do have a little bit of like an interesting relationship, you know, like we play these little games at work, like, actually I don't even know if he knows we're playing. We play this one, I like to play hide and seek. <laughs> play that at work. He's like, damn it, Matt, I was looking all over for you. <laughs> like, did you check the coat closet? <laughs> Or the movie theater on 63rd and Lex? <laughs> there will be blood. Oh, man. But here's the other thing that pisses me. I don't want, is there any old pe elder, older gentlemen here? <laughs> older? No, I, I respect my elders, but I hate that whole, like, when I was your age, I made $5,000. It's called inflation. You know, like your apartment costs $300, a rub and tug costs 50 cents. <laughs> Or so my dad told me. Or my grandfather, I forget. I forget. But, um, so I'm single. I don't know, you know. Fucking, I married people. It, it's like, I love, I love women, you know. Women are great. But every married person I know, like, we used to have fun together. You know, like, my brother's married now. We can't do the same shit. I'm like, Jay, let's just empty our bank accounts tonight. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, my wife would kill me. I, I take this guy, I mean, I am fiscally here. I take this guy to the Knicks game because we want to taunt, you know, any Knicks fans here? Any Knicks fans, anybody? It sucks to be a Knicks fan right now. I took him for his birthday to a Knicks game. We made all these signs that said like, Isaiah killed Kennedy and shit like that. <laughs> Fucking, so they tried to kick us out. They're like, no, you can't have a sign that says Isaiah killed Kennedy. <laughs> But they didn't mind the one that said Isaiah eats babies or Isaiah causes global warming. <laughs> but my brother's late to the game, right? I'm like, yo, where the hell are you? He's like, I'm waiting for the bus. I'm like, get in a fucking cab. I paid $250 for these tickets. He's like, okay, just don't tell my wife. <laughs> Who can live like that? Who can live like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I mean, I know your life has meaning and all that, but I mean, I get to take cabs. I love cabs, cabs are great. But now that I'm single, I don't know how to like deal with the whole calling, like, oh, or do I call you five minutes after I get out of the bar? And then every night at four in the morning until you tell me to erase your number? Which I'm not gonna do, because what the fuck? What are you, an Indian giver? You give me that number? It's mine to do with what I want for the rest of my life. I mean, you, you can get a restraining order or change your number. Those are your options. Those are your options, God. But I, what was about women. I love, I, yeah, I do love women. Um, the other thing is that like, none of my boyfriend skills, I used to be a boyfriend, I've been a boyfriend, none of my boyfriend skills translate, you know? Like, last night, you know, I'm with this girl. I'm like, hey, look. She went to the bathroom, I'm like, hey, look, I put the toilet seat down. She's like, are you still here? We fucked over an hour ago. Uh, in conclusion, I've got one more, one more honorable and clean joke. So I was on the subway, and uh, you guys remember Jerry Orbach, the late beloved actor from Law and Order? I saw this sign, it was an organ donation sign, I don't know if anybody saw this one. It said, Jerry Orbach gave his heart and soul to acting, but the gift of sight to two New Yorkers. Somebody's gotta explain this to me. So we're splitting up eyeballs when you donate them. I don't think he knew that when he signed up. It's a package deal for certain things. Like, fine, kidneys you can split up, but eyeballs? I mean, what, instead of like saving some poor blind guy, we're gonna give two pirates eyeballs? <laughs> I mean, I just think, like, I, mean, I, I just crossed off my whole organ donation thing, because I was gonna donate my whole package, you know, because so I could like live on, you know, I'm like, yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it. You know, but then I'm like, wait, are they just gonna cut him up? Oh, this kid lost a testicle in a volleyball game. We're gonna send that one to Texas. Some Afghani boy, circumcision was too big. We're gonna take the top off. All right, that's enough of me, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been great. Yeah. One more time for Matt Ripper. 